Good morning, Missy Pearl. This is day three of our treatments, and she's up and out of her stall. That's a good sign. She's on her feet. Still no runny nose. Her eyes look a little, a little sad. But there's no runny nose. Hi, baby girl. And she's got enough energy to uh, decide to walk away from Grandma. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing, baby girl? Hmm? You feel okay this morning? You gonna go in your pen for me? That's a good girl. That's a good girl. You gonna eat a little bit of hay? Daddy put you some hay out. That's nice. We don't have too many ugly scouring marks on the hind end here. And that's good. You go on inside your pen, baby. And I'll be in there in a minute to give you some medicine. Okay? She doesn't she don't want to go in your pen? You don't like it when you go in your pen because now grandma gives you medicine? Hmm? You don't want grandma giving you medicine? She's doing pretty good. We'll stay on this for a while. I'm going to give her some Pepto-Bismol this morning as well. Hi, baby girl. Tell everybody hi. Everybody's praying for you. Everybody's praying for the Missy Pearl. Doesn't seem very excited about going into her stall this morning to get her medicine. And it's good. She's moving away from me. That shows she's got a little motivation. Little energy. Come on, let's go on inside. Come on. In the stall. In your bed. In your bed. That's good. That's good. Go on in. I know, you don't like that. Jerry, you want to come in? Sure. She's feeling pretty good. She's been up all morning. We're going to give her a dose of Pepto-Bismol. We'll be gone this afternoon. So we'll give her her medication this morning and then again before we leave this afternoon. Then we'll probably... She had a lot of flies eating. Right? Hope it'll uh, hold off until tomorrow, but I want to give her some Pepto-Bismol this morning. First thing I'm going to do is administer a antibiotic. and That's a pretty good sized little pill. So we have this pill dispenser here. It's got a short uh, cylinder on it. You just slide the pill in there and it pushes the cylinder back. It's clear pee. I'm hoping that's pee. It's clear pee. That's good. Pee is good. That means she's getting some liquids. So we're going to get this pill down her. You need to step to her other shoulder there. And you're going to put your hand around her back of her neck, and I'm going to put my hand around the front of her head. Right, uh-huh. <laughs> I like to see that, Missy Pearl. I like to see that. You're going to put your butt against the wall for me? She knows now that I can trap her when I get her in the corner. You just get on the other side of wherever I'm at, okay? And you put your arm around her neck, and I'm going to put my arm around her head. And then we bring her head up. I hold it. Get this little pill down just as far as I can. And then push that plunger. And she has it chewing on it. Just have to make sure she doesn't spit it out. They're better than dogs at spitting out pills. I think she's got it down. Let her go. Here while well, you got her. Okay. Now, we're going to give her a little bit of Pepto-Bismol. And we'll yeah, keep an eye on her, make sure she doesn't spit that out. Now we'll give her a little Pepto-Bismol. This is going to be a messy job. Just like we did before. Both of us around her neck in different places. 
You can't squeeze the plunger there. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Good deal. Pepto Bismol. It tastes like wintergreen. Babies like wintergreen. That's good stuff. Okay. That was a good shot. <laughs> now you're done with pink. Now, we're going to try to go ahead and give her her electrolytes. I think I want to be on her right shoulder because I get a better grip with my... Good girl, Missy Pearl. We won't push her too hard. She doesn't seem to be running the fever that she was yesterday before we started the antibiotics. Oh, don't leave me. She says, I think I want out of the hospital. I don't want to be in the hospital. No. We just stay with her. We just stay with her. Get the bowl out of our way here. Okay, maybe she'll back up into the wall now. Hold the bottle. If I can get her against the wall. Got it made. Alright, just hold it up there. That wall is further back than it was. I did that to me yesterday. She started backing up and I thought I was against the wall and that's five feet away from it. Okay, walk in front of her and kind of move her back if you can. <laughs> Folks, she's feeling pretty good and that's a good sign. We'll go ahead and put her little halter on her because we don't want to stress her out. Now, now she thinks she's gotten, I hope, hope she thinks she's been had. And we're just going to let this naturally flow into her mouth and we'll lose a lot of it, but I'm doing two quarts twice a day. And uh, sometimes a little bit in the middle of the day if I lose too much of it. Too She's kind of got the sucking motion going on. And that's good. Raise it up. And this is because she's dehydrated, you figure? Yeah. Yeah, we've got to get enough uh, electrolytes down her to uh, counterbalance the dehydration from the diarrhea. That dehydration, if she goes with that fluid in her belly too long, um, it'll change the acid in her gut and can cause lesions in the intestines. So fluid is important. Okay. She wants a break. We'll give her a break. So we're not getting this whole bottle down her. Um, we lose a lot of it, but I know we're getting a lot of it in her. So she won't take a baby bottle because she's been nursed on her mama. And I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing any elasticity here. So I'm assuming, see this is really tight. So I'm assuming that she's about 7% dehydrated, maybe five to 7%. So, we have to stop the, uh, the diarrhea. We have to counter the amount of fluids that she's losing. And now we're giving her tetracycline to stop any bacteria. Is it a little higher? The higher it is, the more she gets. strong with her head 
almost the two points. Good. Now yesterday I gave her a, a product called Bounce Back. It has some kind of a gelatinous substance in it that will actually hold the fluid in her in her belly. I'll probably give her that about a couple hours today. But it clogged up my new hose. So we can't give it to her in the hose. Nobody said it's easy raising babies, but you do what you can for them. Step to my side. Yeah, that's what we got to do. We're about halfway down. And like I said, I know we lose a lot of it. But I give her a little extra just because of that. Higher. <laughs> her throat, her bottle on the floor. She's figured out when she tilts that head down. Now, this could be shoved down her throat and tube fed with this unit. But I actually lost a calf one time when I tried to bulb tube feed it. I was told that with the bulb, you couldn't accidentally get it down into their lungs. And me being the unique person that I am, I was able to get that bulb into her lungs and thought it was in her stomach and I gave her half a gallon of milk to her lungs and I killed her. So this is why I won't be putting this down her throat. She still has good sucking action, good swallowing action and I don't feel a need to do that. And if I did feel a need to do that I'd probably call a vet and let them do it. I know there's a putting the tube down and then smelling it for air or gas in, gases in the stomach and uh, when I did it it was a it was a sad day it was a newborn calf that had to be bottled had to be stomach fed and I got it into her lungs pumped a half a gallon of milk into her lungs and it was a sad day We're almost there. I think we're close enough. Okay, so that's it. Um, Pepto-Bismol, some antibiotic, and a bottle full of electrolytes. A couple of hours, I'll come back and give her that, that uh, water holding bounce back. And uh, I can't feed that through this tube. I fed it through the tube yesterday. Show them the tube. I fed it through the tube yesterday and it congealed inside the tube. It took me about an hour to get it all out this morning even after I had soaked it in hot water all night. So we'll just take the cap off and put it up next to her mouth and get it in her that way. And there she goes. Little Miss Pearl. Let's let her back out in the sunshine. She feels like going out.